Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a base tour with... Me, Bagula1. So we're going to be going to be walking around and checking out his base. He has one of the coolest bases I've ever seen. Um, how long have you been working on this base for? Uh, probably about eight months or so. That's a really long time. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a huge base. Alright, so we're going to be starting in the very front. All right, so I got my little doors right here. I was in a second, but I got a little viewing area for all those that I don't necessarily want in my base because I can't. Nice view. There is a lot of stuff. This is a good view. From here too, you can kind of see some of the the workings of the the back of the sign. This is Bagla's huge um um smile sign over here. Yeah, and feel free to come running up and hit the pressure pad, because that activates it. How long did this project take you? Uh, that one there, I was building it on the Xbox, so it took me a little longer, and that's one reason why, too, it's not quite the greatest of face images that I probably could have done, but it took me about 10 to 12 hours to do that one. That's including just kind of the, the thinking of about how it works and actually getting it to work. So these are my doors. To keep cars out? Yep. This is an awesome Helps system. Keep my base safe. And then uh, I have a laser here too, so when I'm driving out, I just run into the door. And Automatically the opens, yeah, that's awesome. Automatically opens and then closes once I... This is a uh, little alarm system that I've been working on. Now that there's actually a sound for the game, it works even better. Before, I just had a laser that would turn on and off. Kind of. And it was a very low sound, so you couldn't hear it. Mm -hmm. But so when someone goes through my laser here, it then trips the switch and turns on the rest of the system. So then it'll just keep sending off that signal and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And... and um, okay. so... There's a delay, so what's the delay for? Uh, the delay, actually, when the switch gets flipped, the delay is part of the loop to get it to just do a burst of a signal real quick to the sign. Because if you just put a solid signal into it, it'll just say bold it bold it bold it it'll oh, just constantly right. finger restart so you have to have a little bit of a delay so it can say the full saying uh-huh so the delay is the amount of time it takes for it to say the whole entire thing essentially yeah it, it's just on a loop so it sends a pulse rather than a constant signal these are all my Big cars, a little car, a sleigh, a handful of big trailers. I don't really like to keep them necessarily spawned in all the time, because, again, another thing for people to try and glitch out. You want to take right. a look? So this is of... the inner workings of the sign, right? Yep. That is the backing of my sign. And a lot of the electronics and whatnot. Well, this is awesome. I need to put more doors on this thing so I can just kind of open the whole wall up if I want. Uh, this is a tree. I forgot exactly who made this one for me. I think you it was, it was the... someone named Jason, right? It was some guy with a J or a Jason in his name. I can't not, not your friend Jason, right? Correct. Yeah. All right. And this is your That's wood collection. Some small trailers, and then I got my wall of wood, is what I call it. This is all types of wood, except for pink wood, and in order of value. Is and end, yeah. end times wood is actually the most valuable? Uh, gray wood is. I don't think you can actually sell it, though, but you can sell it to other players. But otherwise, in value for turning it in, yes, end times is the most value. And the spook and glow um, countertops are very similar. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, the countertop for Sinister is literally exactly like spook wood. And I was quite annoyed when I because I wasted the Sinister to build a count. <laughs> and the end wood is the one on the right and the birch is on the left? Which one is which here? 
Uh, the one right here that I'm standing on is the gray wood. Oh. And this is birch wood. So this is what gray wood countertop looks like. And this is end wood? And yes, this is end times wood. So you can really compare all three, right? Yep. Yeah, you can compare any type of wood you want here, because I have all of them in all different forms that you can have. I noticed that all the countertops are like dark, darker. Most of them. A bit, yeah. Yeah, I think the the birch here is about the only one that's actually brighter. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Uh, these are all the extra cubes from trying to figure out the uh, temple and trying to get the box. So if you guys uh, have a number and you run across me or something and you want one, just let me know. Hand them out. This is also my just little extra piece of storage. Do you have a 13 or a 12? I do not anymore because I bought a 13 and I went to the second sign or second paint. Uh, this is my wood dumper. Essentially, that's I guess what I call it. So you go, you park up to here, and then. Yep. Yeah, you take a, a car full of wood, you drive on up here, and you you park up there. Get on out, you flip this switch, you respawn the car, and all the wood falls down and gets pushed over to this edge and slid onto the conveyors here. It's an awesome system. And down in here, I've actually got a handful of stuff just kind of tucked away. It was a nice little open cubby that I just put a door on. This Again, cool. helps me keep some of my stuff safe. All right, before we go, um. Go up, you want me to show them the office? Oh, how about over here? Ooh, yeah, my little uh, electronics and wire storage and my extra parts. Lots of electronics. I try to keep it as much as I can of all types so I can kind of goof around and play around with ideas before I decide to do a full scale build. Um, otherwise, well, actually, yeah, let's do the office before we get the rest of the system. And out here you have uh, signatures, mine, mummies, codes, and your one of your fans, right? Yep. Well, actually, uh, she's also a YouTuber, but she's got a very small channel. And she oh, the I see. That's a pretty cool signature. Too. I still want to get Dark J and Stiniac as well, for sure. Stiniac has a signature? I don't know if he does or not, but I'm going to try and get him to do one anyway. All right, so up here you have a office, right? Yeah, I've got a, a lot of my other valuable items up in here. This is actually where I started stuff. Uh, a handful of blue balls as well. These are all ones that I actually got to open on Christmas morning. So I was a little late to the party with uh, 23,000s. Actually, no, 2,000s. We got a handful of 2,000s. Uh, but I did buy one. 219. If you got lower, let me know. Find me in game. You guys can all follow me in. Uh, buy one off you if you got a lower one. I think I need to raise my desk over here though, because actually whenever I sit in it, I go oh, right through it. Oh, you can see your feet, right? <laughs> <laughs> the chair's not low enough. I don't really have anything in here. Though. I put my loose eyeballs in there. Got a red ball. No significant number. And I this love is this. your executive table? Yep. Yeah, I love this, this awesome. table turn. I mean, your toes stick through still, but. I just did a table with uh, some tiles on top of it for the Spookwood Center and a little bit of gold trim around the edge. Mm -hmm. This light took forever, though. I mean, those little wires up top of it were the biggest pain. I see, because you can't get them straight that easy, right, up here? Yep. Yeah, I actually had to put a piece of wood in there and then try and shoot from the other side of the light on the edge of the wood. And these are just two pressure plates that I flipped them over so it's got the gray side showing. Oh, and that also cool. powers the light as well. Um, Alright, so I finished most of the staircase here. So we can walk up this one right now. Actually, wait, we got to do the rest of the system still. Alright, whoops. Your staircase is pretty narrow. 
Yeah, I was kind of looking at that after I built it, and it's a little tricky to navigate. To rebuild it now. This is your uh, wood cutting system up here, right? Yep. Uh, I got this first little bit from uh, Code, and I'm a flying midget. The um, Code featured his system on his channel, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this part here, it's got the two lasers, and if you trip both of the lasers at the same time, it knows the piece of wood is too long for the sawmill to process. So this gate here opens up. And it goes, oh geez, it goes into uh, the saws to be cut up. You trigger this laser when it hits the edge. I'm pretty sure we can trigger it together, let's try. Yeah, we can do that. We just gotta space ourselves out. You can stand okay. at the very edge, actually. I think. I got mine. I was just thinking about it, just turn the laser off. Is there a big delay? Shouldn't be. The biggest delay comes from the the uh, inverter. So that hatch comes up and oh, holds the further pieces of wood from tripping the lasers, and this opens up so the wood that pulls into here. And the saws start up? <clears throat> Once it gets here, it comes all the way forward and gets stopped. It's this laser, and that triggers the saws. And then after so long, these plates below us will open up, and it will drop down. A lot of electronics. Yeah, I've spent a fair bit of time going over to Link's Logic and buying stuff. I've got it set for some really thick pieces of wood right now, so it takes longer to cut. Oh, that's awesome. And I have the the rollers here, so it's constantly trying to move the pieces of wood so they don't basically freeze and get locked on the uh, plates up there. Um, what is this um, laser over here? Whoops. I can't quite get up there. There we go. The laser. Uh, this laser up here, is this to activate the hatch? That's for the whole saw system hatch stuff. You, the, the wood comes up and triggers that, and then it starts its cycle. Oh, I see. Uh, so yeah, then all this stuff just kind of lines up all the wood and makes sure it's facing the right way. And then this hatch here is for the really big leggy bases. Me and Mummy and Big Rebel were working on a video of trying to create a system to get wood to process without you having to sit here and literally hold the piece of wood inside of it. Actually, just kind of shrink this down. Piece of wood over here. This is a tech demonstration. Uh, but with the way that this works is the hatch is actually two units from the end of it and that's right at the spot where the wood will despawn to be turned into a plank and just on the outside of it the wood respawns as a plank here comes a piece of wood right now and it'll spawn on the side of the plate And you don't have to sit here and try and hold each piece of wood inside of the sawmill as it tries to process. Because it'll literally just lag right through. That's really cool. As soon as this all spawns upstairs. There it is. Mm -hmm. Over here I got a handful of gifts and some other rarity stuff. If anybody again wants a box, let me know. I'm not gonna get rid of the, the present though. And this is the one I donated? It is, yes. Alright. Um are we gonna go up now? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna head on upstairs. So we're gonna show them the biggest project you ever made, right? Yeah, we'll we'll start out over here with this one. This one's taking me the long, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm building a wood sorting and storage bin system up here. Uh, so the wood sorting is going to be up on these conveyors up here on this rail. And it's going to knock each piece of wood into the assigned bins for the type of wood, which I have basically with the wood. Um, 
So my idea behind this is essentially spread the wood out a little bit, get it kind of so it's not going to pop, and then just kind of have it stored up here so I can easily retrieve it, but it's not trying to constantly stay on top of the rollers because by being on the conveyors, a lot of wood will create a lot of It's constantly trying to move. So do we want to show them how it works? Yep, I actually have a bin set up right here already. Uh, so it sits on top of the pressure plates until I call for it. So let me turn on the switch, which then activates the system. You can go ahead and hit the pressure pad. And that should then open the gates. The wood should fall. This one. So the wood will fall onto the rollers and be carried out. And then it'll be carried to wherever I need it, either up further or down to a truck to be sold. That's awesome. So it's still a work in progress. I'm still getting there, but it's it's definitely one of the biggest projects I've done. Are you going to try to make it that, it, you, that you can put the wood back in? Like, that it goes back uh, in? Possibly. I, that's one reason why I do have the switches on it, so nobody can just constantly run up and activate it and all my wood's going everywhere. But I'll probably either make them on smaller circuits, because right now I've got this whole side on one switch. It's either that or I will build a way of sending it back. So you have a bin for every single wood, right? Yep. I'm still working on these end ones over here. I gotta get some more electronics and whatnot. But then once I have all that done, it's gonna be a lot of the building up the sides and building the sorting system up above it. Is this a mini trifetti over here? No, I just use this for building because there's a lot of tiny tile work and small stuff, so I plane it down to about a one by one or a two by two, and then I toss it in here and it cuts it up into cubes. So then it cuts it into actual one unit pieces or four unit pieces. If I'm... You have a really unique trifetti. We're going to show them that later, right? Yep. Yeah, we're actually we're about to head on. Yep, I got my elevator here. One of your small projects? Yeah, it's it's going to be probably one of my next projects that I'm going to do because it's another way up here. I'm just running through systems all the time. But also I want to try it and see wood. I'm not sure yet. The timing was essential here, right? Yep. Yeah, I've had the system now worked out in my head for a little while. I just wanted to see an actual application of it and see if it would work. Can so this is just yeah sure this is just the up system right now so you just hit the pad and it should carry Whoops. oh i have it away from the wall so that the uh the gates actually don't activate the pressure pad so you do so have to step the down system would pretty much just like open it up like the bins pretty much essentially yeah because what would happen is you'd hit the pad up top they'd all close and then after so long a set of them will open so you would just kind of drop a couple of feet at a time you gotta step back off of the wall there you go this is a pretty awesome system carries you right on up top so I plan to build my elevator from my lower floor up to this one here fairly soon-ish. Actually, bin. if you wanted it to go down, you'd just like add some more electronics to make it go the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be an XOR gate and I think another sustain or a delay for each one of the hatches. So I, I plan to make it all nice and pretty and box it all in and make it... Because it always goes from the bottom, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so then this is just the little staircase where the uh, the office comes up from. Okay, this is your office. Okay. And then, right back over here, is where I ready came. So if ever you guys get into a server with me, sometimes I will fire off the tree petty cannons. Uh, whenever I am, you have to be either in this room or behind this red floor, 
or down below. Otherwise, I can't light the team. I have a little storage box here. From actually, I have to. But then that turns on. What like do you keep flash. in here? It's I put my TNT in here. I store one shots worth of TNT. And this is the Tree Fetty Cannon. Oh. Oops. <laughs> These tiny tiles must have took forever. They did take quite a while and a lot of cutting of this wood. This is a very expensive Tree Fetty. One of the most unique ones because it's all the way up in the air. Alright. 13 saws on here. And I actually made this thing kind of like a barrel inside of a barrel so that to make sure none of the wood that is popping out of it like goes flying across my base. Mm -hmm. So I've even got a double layered conveyor system here. So when the piece pops out down below it or tries to go out the sides, it should get kind of back onto that conveyor and then just carry it base and drop right outside it. Um, so if you're down below, it drops right on top of you? Well, not necessarily. I mean, if you're standing right there, you'll get a couple little pieces raining down on you every now and then. But mm -hmm. two, this thing with my base and whatnot, it'll lag so badly to the point where I've actually been able to drop a piece of wood from the top of my cannon here and run down my base and catch it at the bottom. If it goes down slow because of lag? Yeah, if, if it lags to the point where it gets that bad, the wood will actually fall in slow motion. I've actually even seen a couple of pieces that I've dropped when they hit the ground, they actually bounce. So that's your base? That is my base. I think we hit it. Alright, well, thank you for letting me tour your base. Not a problem. Alright, so if you guys want to um, join Bagla, um, there's a lumber type Coon Discord, you can join. Also, Code Primate has his own Discord. I'll link both in the description, and you can go play with him. He's an admin on the LT2 Discord. And uh, please <coughs> like and subscribe, and tell me what you think about Bogla's base. All right, till next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. See ya. Hello.